Buari has proved us right by giving us overdose of disappointment. According to the latest reports from the Daily Post newspaper, President Mohamed Buari authorities has come below severe assault after it foreclosed the opportunity of restructuring Nigerian within inside the nearest future. Some social cultural organizations and individuals, who include the Ohanese Indigo, the Afeniferi, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, among others, had been dramatic for the restructuring of the country. But in a assertion with the aid of using Malam Gabashew, the senior special assistant to President on media and publicity, Barry stated his management will now no longer succumb to threats and undue strain over the matter. Reacting to the development, the Biafran Zionist Federation, BZF, one of the organizations searching for succession from Nigeria, stated Buhari had proved them right. Self-acclaimed president of the BZF, Barrister Benjamin Omuka, stated that they have usually insisted that it became Biafra or nothing. In a assertion made to be heard to new sound in Enugu on Tuesday, the separatist chief stated, we have usually laughed at people who are questioning that something will pop out of restructuring. The Bahari government has given them over dosage of disappointment. I wonder who ever told them that this government will restructure anything. However, all hope is not lost. It is now time for all our people to join the Zionists as we look forward to the declaration of Biafra by November 3rd, the election night of the United States of America. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, everyone was hopeful. Everyone was hopeful concerning um, President Moabari's coming into power and carrying out a restructuring in this country. Everyone was believing so much. There was so much hope. There was so much confidence and belief concerning President Moabari. You know, so many people believed in him. That was why they gave him their votes. Even the voting started from a year old child up to a hundred year old person. Why I say a, a, a year old child is that yes, it is stated in the Nigerian constitution that if you're not up to 18, you don't have the right to vote. Quite all right. But I tell you this that because they want President Mubari to come into power. The Northerners have to take that risk and that step. They have to make use of their amateurs, those that are not even qualified to vote, to, to read the election. A lot of them don't pretend for President Mubari. That was what piled up and made him the winner of the election. Okay, now, despite all of those things that these people has done for the president, what now is the payback? That he has given them. What these people later got in return later became something that that cannot withstand a nightmare. See what he did to those same that those same amateurs. See what he did to them. Eh? See what is what is is presently doing to his own hometown, Katsina. The people that struggled and fought to see that he became, uh, uh, he became, he became uh, uh, a, a president. Hmm? So what are you to say about it? What are you to say about it? So my viewers, I tell you that the president has not been measuring up. 
the president has not been meeting up. The president has not been doing it right. A lot of people put their hope on him, most especially the Northerners. They put so much hope and confidence on President Mubari. They believe that he's not going to disappoint them. They believe that he's not, he will stand by them no matter what. But what is happening today? What is happening today? Hmm. You know, sometimes when I see these Northerners cry and complain, I'll just laugh. Yes, I have to laugh because it is time for me to laugh. It is time for me to laugh at them co-heartedly. It is time for me to mock them because they work to be mocked. They work to be mocked. They cost it. They are the ones that put that man in power. So what are they complaining for? If you say to them, say Baba, they will say, no say Baba. But it was they that came up with that slogan when the president came into power. Okay. When you say say Baba, they will say say Buari. Why not say Buari again? Why not say Buari again? They must be sick. Completely sick. They don't even know what they have done to themselves. Okay. Like seriously, they don't even know. Hmm? So my viewers, what are we saying? See, it is very clear. The Biafrans are, 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 are people that are harmless with a good and clear vision. For you to know that the Biafrans are good people with good vision, look at all the countries in the world. All the countries in the world, they all endorse Biafra put together the international observers, put together the, uh, the international, uh, and the international uh, bodies, you know, group and organization, the UN, the EU, UNPO, mention them, they all support Biafran, and many of them have endorsed Biafran with huge amount of dollars. One of them even stated it clearly that as soon as Biafran is actualized, that he is betting it with Nigeria that Biafran is going to become, in the next five years, that Biafran is going to become one of the, the best country in Africa. He knows what he's talking about. So why are we deceiving ourselves? Hmm? So, my viewers, please, your comments concerning all that has just been said are very, very important. So please, you do well to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.